everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of my Terraria Let's Play, my friends. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I'm doing really, really well. Uh, I think this is the 15th episode, if I remember correctly. And guys, again, a massive, massive thank you for all of the support in the last episode and indeed for the series so far, my friends. Like, we've been maintaining a thousand likes per episode even after all this time, which is absolutely fantastic. So guys, thank you so much. Really just mean the world to me, especially at the time of life I'm in right now where I'm in the process of moving and, uh, you know, as a result, most of these episodes are indeed pre-recorded because, you know, I'm, you know, uh, packing up the house and doing various other bits of bobs, so, yeah. But anyways, guys, I've actually done just a tiny bit of work since the last episode on uh, getting some various uh, bits of furniture and stuffs inside of the houses here. As you can see, we have the little greenhouse dome section up top fully populated with a bunch of plants here. We have ourselves another ingredients box here. I decided to split the ingredients from this chest from the original chest. And then this one over here has got a whole bunch of buff potions. Look at this. This is all we've got so far in the world. Looking good, right? Oh, man. Absolutely fantastic. And check this out, guys. I didn't realize you could place statues in front of wooden fences. But since wooden fences class as walls, then that's pretty cool. And something down here just died due to that falling star. Well, they didn't stand a chance, did they? Those bad boys do up to a thousand damage to any mob, which is just kind of stupid. But uh, anyways, guys, check it out. We've got some other things going on as well. The extractor date is down here. Uh, we're, I decided to uh, put a paintings and walls box in here, as well as a decorations box, because, you know, painter, decorator, NPC, right? So, for example, this one here has also got the tinkerer table, because the tinkerer lives here. And then this one... I haven't really done anything with yet. Hey, look, he's a uh, good old barkeep. You gotta love the barkeep. So in today's episode, my friends, I mentioned how I'd like to go ahead and take down Queen Bee. And that is exactly what we are going to be trying uh, to do in today's episode. And to be honest with you guys, I don't think we are going to have any issues whatsoever. In fact, I am feeling so confident, even to the point where I am going to try and take her down with grenades. That is right. We're going to try and take down Queen Bee first time with a whole bunch of voice cracks and a whole bunch of grenades, okay? That is what we're going to try and do, guys. It is going to be absolutely insane. Oh, my word. And I hope you guys are looking forward to it. I don't know why I've gone on a little bit of a tear in terms of uh, wanting to blow things up, but uh, it's a fun thing to do. I mean, in Minecraft, blowing things up with TNT is fun. In this game, blowing things up with... Bombs and freaking dynamite is a fun thing to do. So why not, right? Why not? So yeah, that's what we're gonna go and do. Uh, I'd like to go ahead and uh, plant down some uh, some of these bad boys because by doing that, we don't have to do it later on in the series, right? So I believe these need to be spaced out every two blocks or something like that. So uh, one there. Uh, oh, up, oh, done it. Well, that's the last one we can put in anyway. So uh, that's no worries. Cool. Okay, guys. So. I mean, obviously, step one is going to be actually finding the freaking uh, queen bee area. Uh, we need to find ourselves a hive. And by doing that, we'll be able to take it down with absolute ease, hopefully, guys. So, uh, we have 20 defense. Uh, I'm not using buff potions because I almost feel like it'll be a waste. Because, I don't know, like I say, I'm fairly confident that we'll be able to get this thing going fairly easily. We just have to be fairly um, patient because, you know, grenades... They take a little bit longer to use than most other weapons, so, you know, it's just something to bear in mind, right? We just need to be a little bit more patient, and as a result of being patient, we should be able to take down Queen Bee with absolute ease. So, guys, let's get over to the jungle biome, and let's ex let's start exploring, huh? Alrighty, guys, so here we are going back down into the jungle caves of caviness, and, uh, yeah, we are looking very, very simply... For a queen bee hive. It shouldn't be that difficult to find. Not really. I mean, it's not like they have a completely different color or anything. You know, orange against green. It's fairly easy to spot the difference, right? So, yeah. Oh, the dye trade has moved in. Ah, okay. That's pretty cool. We can actually start trading some of our various dyes and uh, other stuffs to get some special dyes, right? The, uh, the special plants. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Alright guys, so we're heading down here into Shrine Country. Oh yes. Last episode, or whichever episode it was, we found an insane amount of shrines. Uh, four within a very, very small space of each other. So, you know, that's pretty cool, right? Uh, good day to you, sir. Oh, oh, hey, we found the Lizard Temple, guys. Okay, well, I'm glad that I found that now. 
cool. Means I don't have to go ahead and try and find it later on, right? So that's pretty cool. Not bad at all. Uh, wow, these little, these pesky little buggers. Trying to get me, don't they? Right, hello. Get destroyed there, sir. Right. Uh, uh, getting plenty of stuff. So none of them are the things we're looking for. Good day to you, sir. Uh, where is the beehive? Tis the question, isn't it? Tis the question. Where the devil are these things? Okay. Uh, so, we find that there's a temple, but, you know, that's pretty much the extent of the cave system. Uh, maybe we go down here. There's, there seems to be like a bit of light going on down there. So, how about we do a little bit of digging? Is that a diamond? It is. We got a di Oh, and a whole bunch of gold coins. I love finding those gold coin piles. I think they're fantastic. Hello, get destroyed and get destroyed. There you go. Absolutely brilliant. All right, so if I head up here and then just start digging down, uh, we should hopefully be able to start finding ourselves some more cave system because, uh, you know, what we have right now isn't exactly... What's the word I'm looking for? It's not exactly the thing we're looking for. <laughs> it's not very suitable for our needs. Oh, man. Okay, so, uh, yeah, let's continue heading down here. And, uh, yeah, like I said, um, I'm in uh, places of actually packing my house now, my friend. So, you know, things are really starting to move along, which is really, really awesome. I'm definitely uh, looking forward to uh, moving into the new place, uh, getting things all set up, getting the brand new internet. Oh, my word, guys. Like, I'm so looking forward to the new internet, like, more than anything, I think. Well, obviously, not more than anything. I think the thing I'm looking forward to most is the idea that it is actually my house. So I don't have to, like, ask permission to, like, make an extension onto the house or anything. Well, I mean, you still need planning permission. But, you know, in the sense that I don't need to contact landlords and all that kind of crap. So that's really, really awesome. Like, the fact that the house will be actually mine. Like, I've bought it. It's going to be fan freaking fantastic. So, yeah, looking forward to it. And the internet speeds there are like four and a half times, nearly five times more than what I get currently. So, you know, you, you, can, you can understand why I'm really, really looking forward to it, right? <laughs> oh, dear. Anyways, uh, let's dig that up. Uh, what have we got in here? Hey, a boomstick. Awesome. All right, I'll take that any day. All right, not bad, not bad. We're still looking for a beehive, though, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we don't seem to be finding any so far. Uh, hmm. And we've come once again to the end of a cave system. So, uh, should we dig this way? I mean, I don't really know, man. All we could do is sort of dig around and hope to God that we find one. Huh? That would be fan freaking fantastic. Okay, so it would appear that we are coming across at least something. Okay, hello. Good day to you, dear sir. You are not killing me today. Go on, get out of it. There you go. Fan freaking fantastic. All right, so... Again, just a really crummy little pocket cave. Hey, get off me! There we go. But the good news is there is another little cave over here. I'm hoping that it's a proper one. There's a flower statue? That's pretty cool. Yeah, okay. I mean, oh, that's pretty cool. I mean, I will probably come back and start picking up all of these statues because, yes, I would like to collect the statues of this game because they're pretty cool. Like, statues are, like, one of the most underrated parts of this game, I feel. So, yeah, definitely going to be something uh, I want to do. So, yeah. Good day. Okay, uh, this might be, like, a proper cave system. Maybe? I don't really know. What we can do is explore. Eh, uh, nah. Nothing so far. What about this uh, left-hand side over here? We didn't explore that. Good day to you, sir. Get wrecked. Uh, there's a dart trap down here. Not taking me out like that today, son. No, 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 no. Oh, dude. Oh, wait. There's a... Oh, that's sneaky. There's a pressure plate in the water to the point where I couldn't even see it. That is a scumbag tactic there, Terraria. Jeez, man. Okay. Hey, we found one. Guys, we found one. Oh, yes. Fan freak fantastic. Oh, we just used up all of our wood. Well, that would explain why we didn't get a full stack. Hello. Ow. Stop it. Stop it. Stop, 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 stop. Thank you, freaking butthead. Right. Good day, she says. How are you all doing? Get out of it. Right. And, yeah, guys, we are going to go into that place momentarily. Ah, there's a whole bunch of honey. I kind of want to start collecting some because that is useful. For various uh, things, including potions, of course. Oh, look at that. There's a whole bunch down here. There's a whole bunch of it. Absolutely fantastic. Go on, then. Oh, yeah. The more honey we get, the better things are going to be, I feel. So, yeah. Fantastic. Fan free, fantastic. So, there's a little bit up here. Okay, there's a little bit up here as well. 
Okay, and then there's a tiny bit just around here as well. So I'm going to grab it, and then we are going to take on Queen Bee. Yes. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Looks like there's a whole bunch of stuff going on down there, though, including a life crystal and another shrine down there. Amazing stuff. Good God. We are being really lucky today, aren't we, my friends? Okay. So, yeah, like I said, we're going to try and take down Queen Bee with nothing but grenades and explosive traps. That's right. We're going to utilize explosive traps as well, since that kind of just makes sense. Uh, good day. Oh, I... Oh. Honey blocks are literally forming on me. That is disgusting, man. I don't want to be covered in honey. I like, I'm not into that kind of thing, man. All right. Here we go, though. So, more honey right there. Uh, might be a nice idea if we went ahead. Oh, I don't know if you would. I forgot. Hey, we got ourselves a compass from somewhere. Cool. Uh, wait, I just saw on the mini map there's a tree down here. Hang on a minute. Yeah. Fantastic. Ow. Stop it. Stop. Stop. Why? Why do you hate me so much, man? All I want to do is fight your freaking bee queen. Come on, dude. All right, there we go. Oh, there's a whole bunch of gold down there as well. Looking good. But guys, the thing we're looking for more than anything is a whole bunch of platforms so I can at least, you know, walk over the freaking honey because honey is very, very annoying to maneuver in. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and uh, put this down like this. There we go. That's looking pretty good. And then where is the queen bee summoner? I imagine it's in the honey, right? It's got to be down here. Has to be. Hmm. Okay. Right. Well, that's no worries. We can uh, we can figure that out real quick. Uh, I could probably do with a little bit more wood, though. And I apologize as well if you can hear, like, vibrations, like, in the mic. Uh, I don't know if I've told you guys, but they're literally making a shop literally next door to the house I'm living in currently. Which, you know, it's not the greatest thing in the world. It's not the greatest arrangement when it comes to, uh, you know, being a YouTuber, recording, all that kind of stuff. For the most part, I've just sort of been recording around it but yeah sometimes it is a little bit uh you know inconvenient shall we say uh so yeah anyways uh let's go and kill all these guys i'd love to oh my god i actually got it i literally was about to say i would be surprised if i could get a robot hat and i actually got it <laughs> that's fantastic all right guys we're gonna do this we're going up to the queen beehive and this will be the final time we actually go back up here right so yeah let's get up here real quick and because we've got, you know, super jump, essentially, uh, we should be pretty okay to go in terms of, you know, uh, maneuvering around, avoiding Queen Bee's attacks, all that kind of stuff. So, we'll have that like that. We'll grab ourselves... Well, I was going to say, let's grab ourselves a campfire. If I convert that back into that, then yes, I can indeed have a campfire. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know where it actually is. Oh, wow. That goes down a long way. I'll stand there. Okay. Uh... Queen B! Okay, guys. I should probably actually get the weapons on real quick. Done. Yes! 71 damage. Oh, my God. Last of the big spenders, huh? All right. Oh. 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 That was a decent amount of damage there. All right, come on. Oh, yep. Yeah, there we go. Get destroyed. Yeah! And back up we go. Wait, where's she? Where? Oh, she's over there. Oh, she's over there. She's over there. Get her. Yes. Yes. Grenades. Grenades. Grenades are how we're going to do this, baby. Look at the amount of crit shots we're getting. This is incredible. This gal is almost down already, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my word. This is just absolutely brilliant. Can you, like, stop moving and stuff? Ow. Uh. Okay. Uh, if anything was going to kill me, then it would probably... Ah! Then it'll probably be myself. Because uh, that's just the kind of thing I do. Oh, I got two shots on that time. Ow! Stop it! Stop it, sir! Get out of here, you freaking butthead! Oh, there we go. Another little shot. Oh! <laughs> oh! You guys have got to drop a like rate for that one, my friends. We barely even used like 30 grenades. What the hell? This armor is so good for a throwing setup. Oh, my word. <laughs> oh, I couldn't be happier, guys. I really, really couldn't be happier with that. Okay, so we've got the beekeeper out of that. Of course, this is fully auto. We've got the witch doctor just spawned in. Fan free fantastic. Uh, let's go and chuck away the pressure plate real quick. And, uh, yeah. Oh, we also need to get this bee wax. Yes. 
Thank you. Thank you, kind sir. Right, now if we can find ourselves another beehive, then I'm pretty sure that we would wind up with enough to get ourselves a full set of bee armor and therefore have a summoner set up, right? That'd be a pretty cool thing. Yeah, in the meantime, we can start using the beekeeper because, as you guys know, has a slight chance of confusing enemies as well as spurting out a whole bunch of bees. Oh, it's a good weapon, my friends. Wait, can it cause... Yeah, it does. Small chance to cause confusion. Awesome. Right, uh, I think it might also be a nice idea to uh, check out the shrine that is down here. Oh, and there is! There is indeed another queen beehive! Oh my gosh! All right, guys. I guess the icing on the good luck cake right now would be something along the lines of the fiberglass fishing pole. That would be absolutely beautiful. Right, uh, I'm going to go and chuck away these potions. Uh, we don't really need them. Now we're going to break our way inside here real quick. And it's another boomstick, but it is a regular one. Okay, nice one. Right, I'm going to have to start being a little bit more uh, tight on what I chuck away. Uh, so there's the boomstick. Um, let's chuck away that. And, I mean, do I want to try and... Uh, I mean, strictly speaking, I could go ahead and start filling up my chest, right? Wait, did I pick up the chest? Oh, yeah, I did. Okay, cool. Right, so guys, we have ourselves another beehive. Uh, I am in the process of slowly being killed by Queen Bee's little minions. Ow! Ow! Stop it! Stop it! Oh! Oh! Uh! Okay! Oh! Uh! Uh, uh, we're going again. Ah, okay. If we can still do this, my friends, then yeah. If you haven't dropped a like button already, then you guys absolutely have to, right? Like, we don't even have a freaking arena set up this time. Ah! Whee! Nope. 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 Ah! Oh, this is so annoying to move, maneuver around in. Ah! Okay, come on. Come on, babe. Come on, babe. We've got to do this thing. Oh, here we go. Oh, chuck him, chuck him, chuck him, baby. Ow, hey, no. Yeah, baby, come on. Come on, there you go. 2,000 health left, my friends, without any, ow. Without any sort of, uh, this is a little bit annoying, but you know, it's all good. Oh, hello. Oh, God, hello. Uh, yeah, another couple hits right there. Oh, there we go. Ow! Stop! Stop! Oh, she keeps knocking me into the freaking honey. Honey is sweet, but honey is not what I want right now, my friends. Yeah! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ow! Okay. Come on. We're nearly back up to... Uh. Come on. We're nearly there. We're nearly there, guys. We nearly got it. Yeah! Oh, yeah! <laughs> ah, found free fantastic, ladies and gentlemen. Right, I don't think we've got much choice aside from to actually go ahead and, uh, you know, uh, start putting some stuff in there because, uh, yeah, we've got a lot of stuff. And we've got a Queen Bee trophy as well. Brilliant. Ow, okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. The throwing setup is very good, apparently. <laughs> I'm really quite surprised about that, actually. I really, really am. Like, even without a freaking setup, we still managed to do it. Uh, then again, we might be a little bit overpowered for what we are. But, you know, it's all good, my friends. Right. Time to go home with our heads held high. Oh, yes. And I tell you what, we're going to jump into the comment question of the video, which for today comes from Adham Amini, who asks, which sword is your favorite? True Knight's Edge or True Excalibur? You see, I've always had a major, major issue trying to figure out which of those two weapons I actually prefer. And that's for a multitude of reasons, least of all because, you know, the True Excalibur has fully auto swing and can shoot out a projectile, but it has less damage. But the True Knight's Edge, it is not fully auto and it also shoots out a projectile and it does a lot more damage. So from a damage perspective, the logical solution would be to go ahead and, of course, uh, pick... Oh, I don't have enough B-Wax to get the Hornet stuff. The logical solution would be to go ahead and go for the True Knight's Edge. And you know what? I think I might go for that. I think I like the True Knight's Edge. The True Excalibur, in my opinion, also looks better. But, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't think, I don't think, it's, I don't think it's better than the True Excalibur. I really, really don't. So, yeah. 
All right, well, there we go, my friends. There we go. Everything is looking good. We've got a whole bunch of stuff in here. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, just see if I can't quick stack a whole bunch of it. Uh, oh, we've got the bee nades, of course, as well. Ooh, bee nades plus nades. Oh, against the wall of flesh. Yeah, that's going to be a good That's gonna be a good time, that is. Like, legitimately, that really is. <laughs> awesome. All right, guys, so... Some of you guys were also saying now that we have the uh, now that we have this guy, we could go ahead and uh, reforge this. You're absolutely right, of course. Uh, manic, no. I'd like. I mean, unpleasant is pretty good. We don't have a lot of money. I mean, mystic or anything like that. Murderous. Uh, yeah, we're not getting much luck on that. Annoying boomstick. If we reforge this one, it costs a cheaper amount than if we were to reforge the other one, right? And quick, intimidating. Something with damage. Superior is pretty good. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. Not bad, guys. Not freaking bad. And, of course, we've got the uh, beekeeper as well. Again, if we reforge the one that doesn't have a prefix on it, it will be cheaper. So, yeah, 90 silver versus a gold coin, right? So, there we go. Agile. Forceful. Uh, come on. I know we can get something better than this. Nasty? Ah. I still think we can get something better. Unpleasant. Unpleasant. Bulky. Come on. Come on! Come on! Uh, right, sod it. We'll just have to go for it. I'm really disappointed. I was hoping for, like, deadly or legendary. That would have been beautiful. That would have actually been legendary. Uh, okay. Well, whatever the case, I'm going to go ahead and uh, chuck this bad boy um, up there. There we go. Starting to make a bit of a trophy collection. And, of course, we've got the honeycomb accessory. Releases bees when damaged. Oh, yeah. So, guys, I'll tell you what. That's going to be my question of the video to your, you guys. What is your favorite Queen Bee drop? Leave your responses in the comments area below. For me, personally, that would be a really difficult question because I really, really like the beekeeper and the bee's knees. And in fact, to be honest, I like all of the weapons. I really, really do. So, yeah, what is your favorite drop from Queen Bee? Leave your responses in the comments area below. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm actually going to go ahead and end this particular episode right here. Yeah. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, please do be sure to spend a second. Head down below the video. Drop a like rating. It'll be super appreciated. Hit the subscribe button as well. Ding that bell if you don't want to miss out on future content. But for now, my friends, it is time for me to head off. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.